Hi, I'm here at IEV 2020 in Twickenham, London, with Dan Lindell, Director of Combat Vehicles at BA Systems Heglands. Um, could you give us an update on the CV90, please, and any recent developments? Yeah, I think the most recent one that, that is on people's minds is uh, the actual firing of the, the Spike uh, LR uh, missile just uh, short of uh, Christmas, uh, which went just perfectly. And then, of course, we, we have the, the Mark IV build standard, which is ready for production now. We have done the, the final testing of uh, the new engine and the upgraded transmission to host for the, ex, uh, for the extra payload we're now offering the, the customers. And we all also uh, worked a lot with uh, the fourth generation of the electronic architecture. So it's, uh, we're now ready for, for production, more or less. And uh, last year, the Mjölner variant was delivered to the Swedish Armed Forces. Could you tell us a bit more about the delivery schedules of this? Uh, yeah, that, that, that's correct. So we, we started, uh, or not we, FMV, uh, uh, the Swedish Defense Material Administration, handed those over when the final testing was done in, I think it was in August. Uh, so the first four vehicles were then uh, turned over and uh, so they're, they're currently training uh, the conscript crews on, on those vehicles. And um, could you tell us a bit about the uh, adaptive signature management system, please? We've never stopped uh, developing that, uh, so uh, we've added uh, some uh, uh, other wavelengths uh, into uh, the uh, equation, not only IR. Uh, so uh, that is an ongoing development with the, with the Swedish Defense Material Administration. Uh, we're a bit secretive because of the nature of that system. And uh, finally, have there been any more recent developments with the CV90-120 you could t tell us about? So, in hardware, no. Conceptually wise, yes. Uh, so, we, uh, we have looked at uh, several different concepts or, or alterations of how, we, if, we, if we were to use an a autoloader, if uh, we should have a four-man crew or, and, and so on and so forth. And we have a great interest in, in the system with our current CV90 users. So, uh, hopefully something will uh, emerge uh, out of that uh, cooperation that we have. Thank you very much for speaking to us today. Thank you, Oscar.